Hey everybody, today we want to talk a little bit about um, the VFD fault main breaker trip. It's just an, it's a couple extra features that we add on to a compressor that has, has a VFD. VFD is a little bit more complicated, a little bit more things can go wrong with them, so there's a couple extra things that go on. Um, primarily the differences are we, we bring in a secondary input, not just the run status input, which we're always looking at to know whether um, the VFD or the starter is engaged, but also a fault signal. And this fault signal comes into us as a normally closed contact. And when it de-energizes, we just put up something that tells you it's a fault and you fail the compressor. Um, and we have had some issues in these with different manufacturers. They don't change state on a power up. So um, the whole power could be off to the freak drive and, uh, and we wouldn't know it, but that's not a big issue on a compressor because normally if the power's off the freak drive, power's off the micro too. So, um, but it is something just to be cautious of. But we're always watching that uh, run status as well. The main breaker trip is an output, and this is the last ditch effort to make sure that the compressor stops if it's running when we don't think it's supposed to be. And uh, and we started putting these on um, VFDs because of concerns about the SCRs on the output and things like that. And we've kind of started carrying it over to other 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 compressors as well. But this is something that will absolutely, if the motor's running when we don't think it's supposed to we're going to trip the breaker. So um, when's, when is a motor running? We've talked about this in other videos where we uh, are constantly looking at the current transformers to decide whether there, we have motor current. And uh, the magic thing is 10% of the CT size. So if you've got a 400 to five CT and you're pulling 40, 40 amps, uh, that's 10% of 400. And that means we think we, we have decided that the motor is running. The other is the auxiliary run status contact that's coming back in. If that's energized, we don't care what the motor current says, we're gonna assume that you're running and we're constantly watching these and deciding, is the motor running? And so then we get into the case, well, what if the motor's running when it's not supposed to be? We've told it to turn off and it just did not stop. So it's out of control. So the cases for that, are we've told it to turn off, we're detecting motor current and the auxiliary is open, but because we're detecting motor current, we're gonna assume it's running. This is what you'll see as your failure on the screen. If that's the case, we're going to um, keep oil pumps running. We're going to keep oil cooling going, but on VFD machines and one where it's available, we're gonna kick the main breaker trip which is an attempt to not only kill the compressor, but also kill the micro. And so the other cases are, we've done it, we've tried to turn it off, the motor amps are normal and the auxiliary is closed, so it's just running. And the other one is, we've tried to turn it off and the motor current's gone down, but the auxiliary is closed. We don't cut hairs on any of this. We assume that if either one of those say that the motor's running, it's running, so we're going to, Keep the oil pumps on, keep cool and going. But in the mean, but as soon as we detect these, we're going to fire that main breaker trip to try to turn, kill the main breaker, turn the compressor off. And the reason we do all this other stuff and the main breaker trip is the main breaker trip doesn't work. We still want to try to salvage the compressor to keep cooling and lubrication going. So lots going on. It doesn't happen that often. It does happen. So. Um, if you see these alarms and failures come up, you'll know uh, what the situation was. And if you hear your breaker trip, you'll know why. Thanks very much. Be sure to check out our other YouTube videos. And we're going to keep adding content as much as we can. Thanks, everybody.